Hello and welcome to the Quick Start video tutorial for the RhinoCam 2014 Art Module brought to you by Mechsoft. RhinoCam's Art Module, also referred to as RhinoArt, is used to convert artwork into geometry suitable for machining or 3D printing. You can create 3D reliefs and wireframe geometry from various picture file formats and a variety of bitmaps and operations to create different shapes. Let's begin by launching the RhinoCam Art Module. From the main menu, select RhinoCam and then Art from the drop down menu. Docked on the left, you will see the Art Browser. Let's load the part model for this tutorial. From the main menu, select File and then Open. Find the part file named Art Quick Start Tutorial located in the Quick Start folder and then pick Open. We will perform the following basic steps to create relief shapes. First, we'll create the project workspace. Then we'll use the Create Sweep operation. And after that, we'll use the Create Puffed operation. And then the Create 3D Relief operation. Finally, we'll export the part as meshes to use as CAD geometry. The first step in creating reliefs is to define the project workspace. This can be thought of as a canvas upon which we'll be creating our 3D model. From the Art Browser, select the 3D Relief Operations tab and then pick the Create Project icon to display the dialog. Under the Extents, set the Length to 4 and the Width to 10. In the future, you can also select the Pick Origin and Extents button to select two diagonal points to define the project workspace. Under Resolution Settings, set the dots per inch to 150, or you can also set Resolution Settings to Fine to achieve the same value. Now pick Generate. The Project Workspace icon now appears under the Projects folder in the Art Browser. The default name is Project 1, but you can change that if you like. Just right-click on it and select Rename from the menu. The project workspace will also be displayed in the graphic screen as shown. Our first operation will create a swept volume. The Create Sweep operation allows you to sweep a cross-section shape along a selected rail curve to generate a swept volume. This function is typically used to create borders, highlights, and even 3D text shapes. Select the Create Swept Volume icon from the 3D Relief Operations toolbar to display the dialog. Under the Create Swept Volume tab, select the cross-section shape to be Convex Arc from the toolbar at the top. Set the type to Add, and under Cross-section, set the scale to 1. Then, we'll set the X coordinate for arc radius by dragging the point on the arc in the Sweep Operation dialog box. Also, check the box for Fill Insides if Closed. Now, select the Relief Curves tab and then pick the Select Border Curves button. This dialog will minimize to allow you to select geometry. Select the outer ellipse and then right-click or press Enter. The dialog will reappear and display the name of the curve we just selected in the list box. Now pick Generate. A Sweep Operation icon is added to the Art Browser project tree as shown. The result of the Sweep Operation will also be displayed in the graphic screen. Our next operation will be to create a Puff Volume. The Create Puff operation allows you to select one or more border curves and puff up the insides using a shape function that can be selected from a predefined list. The shape of the puff can be further affected by selecting detail curves inside the border curves. Let's have a look. Select the Sweep operation we just created. Then, select the Create Puffed Volume icon from the 3D Relief Operations toolbar to display the dialog. Then, select the Sphere icon from the toolbar. Now, set the Type to Add and the Max Puffing Height to 0.5. Select the point on the arc to modify the puff cross-section. Under Smoothing, Make sure the box is checked and then set the smoothing scale to 6. 
You can use the slider, the up or down arrows, or simply enter the value. Now, select the Relief Curves tab. This tab contains two sub-tabs, named Border Curves and Detail Curves. Select the default border curve from the previous operation, and then pick the Remove Active button. Now, pick the Select Border Curves button. The dialog will minimize to allow you to select geometry. Now, we'll select the border profile of our relief geometry. Right-click or press Enter and the Create Puff Operation dialog reappears. Next, select the Detail Curves tab and then pick the Select Detail Curves button. Again, the dialog will minimize to allow you to select geometry. Now, while pressing the left mouse button, drag a selection window around the detail curves. If the selection window captures unwanted curves, as we have done here, you can exclude them by pressing the Control key and then selecting the curves you want to exclude. When the detail curves are selected, right-click or press Enter to complete the selection. Note that selecting a curve from the list also highlights it in the graphics window. Alternately, you can select one or more curves listed in the dialog and then pick the Remove Active button to remove them from the list. Now, with our detail curve selected, we can pick Generate. The Puff operation is generated and added to the project tree in the Art Browser. In this next step, we'll create a 3D relief operation from a color bitmap image. This is useful in creating 3D geometry from hard to model images, such as texture maps. Select the Puff operation that we just created. From the 3D Relief Operations toolbar, select the Create 3D Relief icon and the file browser will display. Now, select the texture.jpg bitmap file located in the Quick Start folder, and then the 3D Relief Operations dialog will display. Note that the original image is displayed on the left, and the resulting grayscale image preview is shown on the right. First, we'll change the operation type to Add, and then check the box to Invert Black and White. Then, on the Image Edits tab, make sure the Filter Off is selected. This will update the grayscale image preview on the right. Now, select the Parameter Edits tab and uncheck Use Image Size, and then also uncheck Maintain Aspect Ratio. We'll also change Width W to 10 and Height H to 4 to scale the image to our project size. In the future, you can also select the Pick button. This allows you to select two diagonal points to define the relief width and height. Next, we'll change the relief height to 0.025. This means that the white pixels on the grayscale image will be assigned a height value of 0.025, and the black pixels will be assigned a height value of 0. All other grayscale values will be assigned a height between these two values. Now, under Smoothing, we'll type in a value of 12. You can also use the slider or up or down arrows to set this value. Smoothing is performed to remove any abrupt changes in height from pixelation in the graphics file. Now, select the Relief Curves tab. Border curves are used to restrict relief geometry within the extents of the selected curves. Select the default border curve from the previous operation and then pick the Remove Active button. Now pick the Select Border Curves button. The dialog will minimize to allow us to select the border curves. For the border, select the outer elliptical curve and then right-click or press Enter, and the dialog displays once again. Finally, we pick Generate to create the relief operation and append it to the project tree in the Art Browser. Selecting an operation from the project tree will display it in the graphics window. To see all three operations we created together, select Project 1 from the project tree. We can now export the project as a 3D mesh to be used within the CAD design system. 
select Project 1 and then from the 3D Relief Operations tab, select the Export as Meshes to CAD icon. Note that you must export the 3D Relief Operations before the geometry can be used within the CAD system. Once the export is complete, select the Projects folder at the top of the Projects tree to see only the CAD mesh geometry in the Graphics window. This completes the Quick Start tutorial for the Rhino Cam Art Module. For further assistance, you can visit the online help supplied with the program or visit www.mechsoft.com for additional tutorials. Thank you.